Woohoo! It's a new year. New year, new me. I think we're kind of used to this idea of saying, at least I've seen on the internet um, in the last couple of years, of saying that the year that we've just had is terrible. You know, thank goodness this last year has been over. I remember 2016 being very much like that at one stage. And to be honest, 2020, not the best year in the world. Not great. Uh, But I think there are still things to praise God about. And I want to talk about praise today because I think that oftentimes as Christians, we, we talk about the trials and we don't talk about the praise and the joy of God because there is so much praise and joy to be given and to receive from God. So that's what I want to talk about today is praise. And so we're going to look at a Psalm, Psalm 145. And so I'm going to read a little bit of it and we'll get into it. So Psalm 145 goes, it's a psalm of praise by David. I will extol you, my God, O King. I will praise your name continually. Every day I will praise you. I will praise your name continually. The Lord is great and certainly worthy of praise. No one can fathom his greatness. One generation will praise your deeds to another and tell about your mighty acts. There's something about the way David praises that's amazing. I don't know if you noticed this, but David is, he's praising and celebrating God as much as he can. And he does it in multiple ways, even in the starting verses of this passage. In the first two verses, we see how this praise plays out for David. We see David go from position, a position of, I will praise you, a direct address, to my God, a personal address. To the king, a surrendered praise. And finally, forever forever and ever being an unending praise. In the first two verses of the psalm, we see that David tries to encompass all of what praise means. Whether it's a direct address from God. Whether it's a personal feeling of praise. Whether it's surrendering before him and praising or whether it's talking about the fact that his praise never ends. It's an incredible first couple of verses when it comes to praise. And it almost seems to me that praise is so essential to our relationship with God. It's so essential to who we are and it encompasses so much. David goes from a logical reason for praising to a personal revelation of praise with his Savior in God. Praise is super important. Praise is essential to us. Praise is how we build joy into our relationship with God. It's how we see that God is joyful of us, that he means something to us, that we bring him joy. We don't just, he doesn't just find us a hard time as he walks this road with us. It allows us to step back and reflect on things and see that God is good. And so therefore there is always good happening. And that's the thing, whether you look back on last year and it's not that good of a year, whether you're looking forward to this year, but you're a bit bit beaten down by last year, or whether you're just happy, it doesn't matter. The truth is this, God is always good. So there will always be good. And it's worth praising him for that. And it's worth celebrating that. So happy new year. Let's find something to praise God about because it's definitely worth it. Hey, thanks for watching. Click here to subscribe, click here for a different video, and check out the description below for our social media links.